Welcome to the scheduling setup overview for Flight Schedule Pro. I'm going to log in as Bill Admin here. And really, there's only a couple of areas we need to visit to, to get scheduling set up. If I go to Company and System Setup, we'll see a scheduling item on the left here. And we're going to go to Preferences. So we're on the Scheduling Preferences page. Uh, we can change the interval on the schedule. The 30 minute interval is going to uh, result in the fastest uh, schedule views. They'll, they'll load much faster. Uh, however, you can uh, adjust this if you need to run a little bit tighter schedule down to a five minute interval. Um, the standard AM PM or 24 hour clock, depending on what you want to do, by default it's, it's an AM PM setup. The business hours can be enforced on a per roll basis. So, the reason we would set these up would be to not allow people to create reservations that start or end outside of these business hours. And we can do that on a on a specific roll or rolls. And we'll show you how to do that here in just a minute. Um, but we can set a, a weekday start and end. For our business hours and and uh, a weekend start and end, um, the schedule view display hours are really how much time do we display when you go to the schedule? They don't control uh, when the reservations can be made, so reservations can start outside of these display hours. Um, However, the less time you display, the the more you're going to be able to you'll be able to see the full schedule on the screen. Um, but you have some options as far as that goes. Some people want to show 24 hours. Some would just prefer to show, uh, you know, something like we have here from 7 a.m. to to 9 p.m. One thing we can do is is edit our uh, reservation settings. Um, one of one of the items is reservation types, and you can set up different reservation types in the system and then on those reservation types you can say what what color the reservations are um, when they're made on the system so uh, another option is what's the default length when I go to create this type of reservation um, is it is it 30 minutes is it an hour is it 12 hours what's the maximum length of this type of reservation uh, what's the minimum length of this type of reservation? Those are a few options you have with specific reservation types. And then when we go to our role scheduling preferences, what we'll see is that we can restrict who's allowed to make these types of reservation uh, depending on their role. I'm going to go back to our scheduling preferences page here. Uh, another option we have here is how many customers do we w want to allow on each reservation. So when we go to create a reservation, uh, in, in, by default there's we're going to be able to select one customer. Um, you can also select two. So for uh, ride-alongs or time building or for, for whatever reason you need to have two customers be um, notified and, and visible that they have that reservation, they can do that. So this is a company-wide scheduling preferences. Anything we do here affects everybody that schedules on the system. Um, apart from you know how we set up these these scheduling role preferences. So I'm going to go to company and roles and and show you what what we can change as far as restrictions from there. Um, I'm going to edit the student's role and really this represents a, a standard user on the system. If we go right to preferences, these are our scheduling preferences for users that we've assigned to this role, whatever the name of that role is. So we can specify how users, how soon users can start reser making reservations, um, how far in advance can they make reservations, and we don't have anything entered here, so that means it's unlimited. Now, if we place a, a certain number of days, maybe 60 days, then users won't be able to make reservations um, 65 days into the future from now. Um, reservations by type. Um, if you have a lot of aircraft of the same type, you may want to enable people to just select a certain type of aircraft and um, 
make a reservation that way without having to search through a long uh, list or big schedule of aircraft of the same type. So do you want to allow users to make reservations by aircraft type? Um, do you want to allow both? Do you want to allow them to select a specific tail number and reservations by type? And in some cases when there is a large fleet of the same type of aircraft, uh, companies prefer to just hide the tail numbers on the schedule and uh, so that they can choose behind the scene which aircraft um, a person's actually placed in. So uh, those are those are optional. Um, in some cases you'll have both of these selected. Um, this would be if, if you wanted to allow tail numbers to be visible and users would um, select a specific aircraft, a specific tail number, um, because neither of our aircraft type um, options is selected. Here's our reservation types allowed for this this role. Okay, so they can make rental and discovery flight, whatever the names of your reservations are, then they've got permission, but we're not allowing them to make maintenance types of reservation because we don't want to allow them to override other people's reservations probably. Since this is our standard role, the default type is what we select here and that's what loads first. So then we have some other options. How many reservations can they can they have at any given time? Um, how many can they have on a specific day? Um, just a couple of ideas. Um, they can have a certain number of reservations on a weekly basis or monthly. Can they have a certain number of hours reserved? These are these are just ways that you can maintain control of the schedule without um, you know with with these settings. You, you're allowing people to make reservations but it's within the confines of, of rules that you set up. And do we want to allow this role the way it's set up is we're not allowing people to make reservations outside of our business hours so they cannot start or end now if on our on a higher role like a, as a, a, a dispatcher scheduler or like assistant administrator we're going to have these checked because we're going to let them schedule you know um, outside of those hours it would be one example our cancellations and lockout periods um, pretty self-explanatory when you get here applying to this specific role how late do we want to allow reservations to be canceled you may require that people cancel reservations if they're going to 24 hours in advance they you require that that they make that cancellation 24 hours in, in, in advance and that's how you would set this up so if that was the case we would go through um, and and probably set it up just like this if we wanted to apply that to all the same resources um, do we want to require a cancellation reason when they cancel that reservation so that we can view our cancellation report and, and see why most of our reservations are being canceled. Um, what about edits to the reservation? A lot of cases we see these are set up just the same as the the cancellation. <clears throat> and then how late do we want to allow people to create reservations? So we may we may not restrict aircraft. Let's say they can they can do that last second. You know they want you want them to be able to make a reservation now and come in in five minutes. But we may want to give instructors a six or twelve hour notice. Um, so if somebody tries to make a reservation for an instructor and the reservation starts in two hours, then in this case, um, it wouldn't allow that instructor reservation. So a couple options. Instruction time before the flight, instruct instruction time after the flight, those just display a new drop down box on the reservation page and then you can also require the flight details tab just to collect more information about um, the reservation when it's created. So those are some of the restrictions that we can place um, on a company wide basis um, and on a per role basis so that really gives you a lot of control over your schedule and uh, that gives you a good idea of, of how to set up scheduling for Flight Schedule Pro.